and welcome to the National Center on Response to Interventions webinar, Resources for RTI in Middle and High Schools. My name is Jessica Agus and I will be talking to you about some resources you can use to facilitate the implementation of Response to Intervention, or RTI, at the middle and high school level. By the end of this webinar, you will be able to access resources that support the implementation of Response to Intervention at the secondary level and identify specific resources that meet your needs. I won't go into depth about how to use each resource, but I'll show you helpful websites to visit and I'll highlight specific resources that you can go back and explore after the webinar. We've identified several organizations which create or house resources that may be helpful for RTI at the secondary level, and today we will go on a brief tour of those websites. Our list is not comprehensive, but it can be a good starting point. Some sites will be more or less relevant to you based on your role and the focus or goal of implementation of RTI in your context. For example, if your high school is implementing RTI to raise achievement in math, you may be interest less interested in the resources I show you about raising graduation rates. Try to keep in mind that most of these organizations have resources about multiple topics, and you may want to go back after the webinar and do your own searching. You can find this handout on our website. The first organization I want to introduce you to is the one you've already found, the National Center on Response to Intervention. The National Center is funded by the U.S. Department of Education's Office of Special Education Programs. Our mission is to provide technical assistance to states and districts and build the capacity of states to assist districts in implementing proven models of RTI. We provide resources that can be useful at the school, district, and state level through our website and newsletter. The National Center's website includes several resources that can be useful in implementing secondary RTI. Use our advanced search feature to find secondary resources including webinars on middle school and high school RTI. You may explore our, to our tools charts and user's guides for guidance on choosing assessment and intervention tools. This is the homepage of the National Center on Response to Intervention. Here you see four essential components of RTI, as well as our upcoming events and new resources. Sign up for our online, our monthly online newsletter at the top right to stay current on our products and services. Click on Resources at the top navigation bar to locate a list of our webinars, implementation tools, Ask the Expert videos, training modules, research, and tools charts. To find resources that relate to secondary RTI, click the Advanced Search button on the top right corner. You can either type a keyword like high school or middle school into the text box, or click on the box that says secondary school. This will take you to all our products on middle and high schools, as well as products from other organizations on the bottom. You can narrow your results further by selecting additional features on the left including content-specific filters like literacy and filters for each essential component of RTI, like progress monitoring or screening. The center has a webinar on RTI in middle schools, an Ask the Expert video on the differences between elementary and secondary RTI, as well as a webinar on progress monitoring at the high school level. You can click on the title of a resource to find a description and link to the resource. Here is a webinar on progress monitoring in high schools, which, which comes out of the work done by the High School Tiered Interventions in Initiative, a collaborative between the National Center on Response to Intervention, the National High School Center, and the Center on Instruction. In this webinar, Dr. Kristen McMaster reviews several CBM measures that can be used at the high school level, and representatives from Walla Walla High School in Washington share their experiences using progress monitoring as part of an RTI framework. On the right, you can see which essential components this relates to, as well as other topics. As I mentioned earlier, the National Center on Response to Intervention also offers tools charts which review the research behind progress monitoring, screening, and intervention tools. This is a screenshot of the progress monitoring tools chart, and you can see that I've filtered results at the top to include only tools for reading in secondary schools. The circles in the columns show the ratings that our, that our team of experts has given the tools in each category. 
I recommend that you use these tools charts online because almost everything is hyperlinked. You can click on the categories and circles to get an explanation of what they mean and why they have been rated the way they have. The National, Center, the National High School Center is another federally funded center that identifies research supported improvement programs and tools, offers user friendly products, and provides technical assistance services to improve secondary education. The High School Center provides information and resources about many high school improvement topics that could be relevant to RTI, including dropout prevention, transitions in and out of high school, early warning systems, and high school literacy. The High School Center also provides a suite of products on early warning systems, including an implementation guide and tool. This is the homepage of the National High School Center. The Spotlight section highlights new reports and publications that relate to high school improvement. The Featured Resources section shows important high school center resources. The navigation is on the far left and includes links to all high school center publications, their blog, High School Matters, and information about Department of Education initiatives that affect high schools. For resources that relate to high school RTI, check out the High School Improvement Topics page. The topics include access for students with disabilities, graduation, and literacy, which may relate to your school's RTI focus. Click on a topic to find research briefs and guides for states, districts, and schools. On the Calls to Action, Overarching Strategies for High School Reform Topics page, you will find a research brief from the High School Tiered Interventions Initiative called Tiered Interventions in High Schools, Using Preliminary Lessons Learned to Guide Ongoing Discussions. This document summarizes what the collaborative group has learned thus far about effective RTI implementation in high schools. It provides a brief description of the RTI framework and the essential components of RTI, illustrates how the essential components of RTI were implemented at eight visited schools, and highlights contextual factors unique to high schools and examines how these factors can affect school-level implementation of tiered interventions. If your RTI focus is around raising the graduation rate, the National High School Center's resources on early warning systems may be helpful for you. The Center has designed an Excel-based tool that uses school-level data such as grades and attendance to identify students who may be at risk for dropping out. This tool could be used as a screener to identify students as well as a progress monitoring tool to track their progress throughout the year. The tool has the capability to track student assignment to interventions as well as print student, class, and school level reports. It is available free of charge from their website. Make sure to download the implementation guide, which guides the team through a process of implementing the early warning system as well as the tech manual which provides vital technical information about downloading and using the tool. An initiative of the U.S. Department of Education's Institute of Education Sciences, the What Works Clearinghouse offers reviews of interventions that can be used at the secondary level with an RTI process, as well as practice guides with research-based recommendations. This is the homepage of the What Works Clearinghouse. You can see that there's a search feature on the left, as well as listings of new products. On the right, you can find practice guides as well as the topic areas, which house the intervention reviews. The What Works Clearinghouse assesses the rigor of research evidence on the effectiveness of interventions, programs, products, practices, and policies, giving educators the tools to make informed decisions. Interventions for adolescent literacy, High school math, middle school math, and dropout prevention are reviewed and can be used to help determine which interventions to use in secondary and tertiary levels of prevention. The user-friendly practice guides address instruction, instructional challenges with research-based recommendations for schools and classrooms. Several guides provide recommendations about topics relating to RTI at the secondary level, including assisting students struggling with mathematics, response to intervention for elementary and middle schools, and dropout prevention. 
These practice guides provide recommendations, explain the rigor of the research behind the recommendation, and suggest how the recommendation might look at the school level. This is the topics page on adolescent literacy. You can see that there are intervention reviews on the right side. The interventions are listed, as well as their review status. Some have evidence of mixed or no discernible effects, but some have evidence of real effects. You can see also when it's updated. You can search by, or by each of these. You could search by the review status to see which interventions have been reviewed with positive results. Here I've searched by the review status and I see all of the interventions that have evidence of positive or potentially positive effects for at least one improvement outcome. The Doing What Works website is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Education. Doing What Works provides an online library of resources that may help high schools and administrators implement research-based instructional practice. Much of Doing What Works content is based on information from IES What Works Clearinghouse, which we just viewed. Doing What Works provides multimedia modules on a variety of topics, including response to intervention in elementary middle math, adolescent literacy, and dropout prevention. Each module provides a summary of research-based practices, an explanation of key concepts, expert interviews, school-based interviews, sample materials, tools, templates, and ideas for moving forward. This is the homepage of the Doing What Works website. You can see on the top that they have their topics listed across the top. Data-driven improvement, quality teaching, literacy, math and science, comprehensive support, and early childhood. You can take a guided site tour up on the left. Some of these topics may be useful for implementing RTI at the high school level. I want to look at literacy. This one is about adolescent literacy and includes four recommendations that could be useful in a literacy classroom. You can see they're listed on the left as well as in the center. Vocabulary instruction, comprehension, comprehension strategies, engaging text dis discussion, and intensive intervention. You can click on any one of these recommendations for more information. Let's click on Comprehension Strategies. They provide a practice summary, learn what works, see how it works, and do what works page. The practice summary gives an overview, as well as a multimedia overview that you can watch. On the far left, you can see site profiles that include real high schools and middle schools that are implementing this recommendation. To learn more, you can click Learn What Works. Here you find expert interviews as well as key concepts, research evidence, and related links about this recommendation. Click See What Works to find videos of actual practitioners implementing these strategies as well as interviews from other practitioners who use these recommendations. The Do What Works section provides information for practitioners of different roles. This one provides information for middle or high school language arts coordinators, district administrators, and a reading specialist, as well as tools and templates. The RTI Action Network is a program of the National Center for Learning Disabilities. They provide resources to guide educators and families in the large-scale implementation of RTI. The RTI Action Network provides several resources on secondary RTI, including virtual visits to middle and high schools implementing RTI, videos and podcasts, including RTI at the secondary level, RTI talks, and research briefs specific to middle and high schools. This is the homepage of the RTI Action Network. There are two navigations, one on the left, where you can learn about RTI, get started, include the essential components, connect with others, and find professional development. On the top navigation, you can see there's, there are specific resources for middle schools and high schools. Let's look at what they have for high schools. Here are all of their high school resources, and you can get additional resources by clicking on the plus signs on the bottom. I've 
clicked on the high school resources section and I see that there are several briefs that can be used for implementation at the high school level, including screening for reading problems in grades 4 through 12. I also see virtual visits. The virtual visits are a way to get a sense of what practitioners are doing at high schools around the country. They highlight specific high schools and how they are implementing RTI. The Center on Instruction has developed resources focusing on instruction in content areas of science, math, and reading, as well as instruction for students receiving special education and English language learners. A suite of products on adolescent literacy and content area lit literacy strategies in secondary schools are available on the website. COI, or the Center on Instruction, also provides the RTI classification tool and resource locator, the RTI control. Although the tool is aimed at states, it will guide users to relevant resources based on, stage, on the stages of implementation. This is the Center on Instruction homepage. You can see on the left the content areas, literacy, science, technology, engineering, and math, English language learners, and so on. In the center, they provide upcoming events as well as recent products. On the right, you can see that the hot topics include adolescent literacy as well as response to intervention. Let's check out their information on literacy. When I click on literacy and search, I see that they have modules directly related to adolescent literacy as well as a guide for principles. This could be useful if your school was focusing on literacy. The RTI classification tool and resource locator is an assessment tool for states to identify what level of implementation their RTI program is. The IRA Center for, in for Training Enhancements has online interactive resources that translate research about the education of students with disabilities into practice. They provide modules, case studies, activities, and more about several topics relating to secondary RTI. Their modules and videos may be used for professional development. This is their homepage. You can click on their tutorials, their resources, instructors, tips, and services. My favorite are the resources. This is their resource locator. You can click on what topic you're interested in, as well as determine what type of, of uh, product you'd like. You can click on modules, case studies, activities, information briefs, and podcasts. Let's look at what they have under RTI. I clicked on RTI at the left, and I can see all of the modules that they have about RTI. This could be especially useful if you're trying to, do, to create a professional development module or use professional devel development with your staff. The, positive, the Center on Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports is an OSEP Technical Assistance Center which provides resources such as presentations, briefs, and videos on implementing positive behavior and supports. This is their homepage. You can find their resource catalog, sign up for their newsletter, and find presentation resources on positive behavioral interventions and supports. To find specific resources, search their resource catalog. You can filter by prevention level, system impact, audience, and resource type. I searched for tertiary prevention level for the whole school, and these are the results that I found, and I can click on any of them to find the resource. School, schools Moving Up, a West Ed initiative, help schools and districts address the challenge of raising student achievement. In an interactive web format, Schools Moving Up offers resources to help education professionals make sound decisions and take action in their school reform efforts. The website has archives of many webinars that can be used in your own professional development, including differentiated tools and strategies to support RTI in language arts, social studies, and RTI. They also have secondary school setting, Riverbank High School Story. 
This is the West Ed homepage. You can see their upcoming webinars as well as more upcoming events. I wanted to find resources specifically about secondary, so I searched by topic for secondary. You can see that they have tons of webinars relating to secondary as well as secondary RTI. The mission of the National Implementation Research Network is to close the gap between science and service by improving the science and practice of implementation in relation to evidence-based programs and practices. Look here to find research about how to implement new programs with success. There's no specific information related to RTI on this website, but it helps to, to give the science behind implementing a new program. This is the homepage of the National Implementation, Implementation Research Network. You can click on the navigation on the left to learn more about the stages of implementation. These can be applicable within your RTI implementation. You may want to start with ex the exploring and adopting phase, the program installation phase, the initial implementation phase, move on to full operation, innovation, and sustainability. Thank you for watching the webinar today. Please email any questions you have to rtiwebinars at aar.org. We will be having a live chat on May 26th from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to answer any questions submitted via email as well as any additional questions that come up during the online chat. Thank you and have a great day.